fourth generation iPod mono and photo LCD replacement instructions. So first what you want to do is make sure you have the iTool set aside as well as your Torx screwdriver and if you have one a mag magnet from your fridge. Uh, it helps to make sure that your screws don't get lost, keeps them organized. Uh, so first what you want to do is go ahead and open up the iPod. Make sure to be careful uh, taking the back plate off of the iPod because there is still a ribbon cable connected here at the top. Go ahead and remove that ribbon cable and the back plate should just come away from the iPod. And go ahead and set that aside. Then you want to lift up on the hard drive and pull it away from the ribbon cable holding, clipping into the, the hard drive. Go ahead and set your hard drive aside. Then what you want to do is unplug the battery and then remove the five screws on the main board. There's one right here, one right here, one right here, one right here, and one underneath the black tape right here. After you remove the five screws from the main board, you want to lift up on the connector, the uh, LCD connector clip, uh, retaining clip. You want to lift the black clip up so you can release the ribbon cable from the LCD. Go ahead and pull that out of there. Then you want to do the same thing with the retaining clip for the click wheel ribbon, which is down here. Then you can go ahead and lift up the motherboard from this side and go ahead and just pull that out. Careful with the click wheel ribbon cable. You want to pull that out before you lift the motherboard away. Then go ahead and set your motherboard aside. From this point you can just lift your LCD out by the ribbon cable. And you can go ahead and just place your new LCD right in its place. After you're done with that everything else is reversed the exact same process.